Let your walls be the star of the room with diamonds. Be bold or whimsical with two contrasting hues or subtle and elegant with two light colors. Either way, diamonds add an enticing visual interest to any wall or ceiling. In this video, we'll show you how to make a diamond pattern on a wall. Step 1. Preparation Think about the design you'd like to create. How many colors do you want to use? Do you prefer large or small diamonds? Will you use two different sheens? No matter what size diamond you choose, the height of the diamond should be twice the width. To help determine the best diamond size for your space, measure the height and width of your wall. For example, if your wall is 96 inches high and 72 inches wide, 4 or 8 inches would be a good height for a small diamond. If you want a larger diamond, 16 or 24 inches would be a good height. Keep in mind, if you choose numbers that divide evenly with the height and width of your wall, the diamond pattern will fit your wall. Gather the right tools for your project at your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store. Choose your paint colors. One color is the base coat, and the others are coordinating colors, which create the diamond pattern. Make sure you have the following supplies. One or two inch low-tack safe-release tape, a nine inch roller frame and cover, mini roller frame and cover, two to three inch paintbrush, roller pan with liner, tape measure, carpenter's level, straight edge, and a pencil. Step two, paint the base coat. You can use your existing wall color as the base coat or apply a new color. If you apply a new color, let it dry for at least four hours or overnight for best results. Step three, create the diamond pattern. Start by drawing a grid of vertical and horizontal lines on each wall. The distance between the vertical lines is half the width of the diamond. From the edge of each wall, mark the vertical lines across the wall. If you're using a chalk line, use blue chalk because red and yellow are permanent. Mark the horizontal lines down the wall. The distance between your horizontal lines is half the height of the diamond. Now your wall should look like a rectangle grid. To create the diamond pattern, draw a diagonal line through the corner of each rectangle, alternating directions. Step 4. Apply tape and paint. Determine which diamonds you want to paint the coordinating color and firmly apply tape on the outside of every other one. Use a brush or mini roller to apply the coordinating color in each diamond. Let the paint dry for at least four hours, then remove the tape by angling it away from the painted diamonds. Now apply tape around the remaining diamonds, paint them, and when dry, remove the tape. Clean or touch up any pencil marks and you're done. Creating original art on your walls is easy with Sherwin-Williams. Whether your diamonds are large or small, you'll love how they make your room sparkle. For more information about other decorative techniques or Sherwin-Williams, visit SherwinWilliams.com.